Today I want to talk about Rainbow, Barnaba Kipkoic. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you should check out season one of Marathon Training in Kenya with Luis Orta. He's one of my fastest pacers and a good friend now. So I want to talk a little bit about him because I think he has a very special story that I need to tell and share with the world. So Rainbow, Barnaba Kipkoic, he's Kenyan athlete living in Iten. We connected thanks to uh, an athlete that I knew that asked him to be one of my pacers for one of the trips that I did in Kenya where we were gonna create content. So the idea was that him and a group of eight other guys would give me company for four weeks for a full month, training in Kenya, teaching me how they do it, the places where to go. He was just one of the pacers, but we connected so well and so fast that I think in one or two sessions we became best friends like it was it was an, a special connection because rainbow is a very smart very talented very hard working athlete and throughout since i met him to now has grown so much and has gotten so much faster and has run around the world but when i met rainbow for the first time he didn't really have a marathon time and he really haven't been outside of the country at that time but I do think with the exposure that we gave him in season one, people started giving him a chance of taking him to different races uh, for pacing or for racing. And then he started running fast and that it's like a snowball effect where one thing leads to another and then he becomes the athlete that he is today. So the most impressive thing about Rainbow when I met him was that no matter how hard the workout, no matter what we were doing, he would always be in front of me feeling so comfortable. It was crazy. Like, say we were eight pacers, uh, or I had eight pacers, the seven pacers would be at the back because we were working so hard. But Rainbow was always with me in the front, telling me, let's go, let's go, pushing me to run faster. And you realize that we're running fast because all the other guys are out there dying. I'm dying, but I'm like working hard to stay with him and he's just so comfortable talking, telling me let's go, telling me the splits, telling me there's gonna be a hill here, so like save some energy. And I quickly realized that he was just an extremely talented athlete. After that time, or the first time we met, he did get a chance to run outside. He ran the Paris Marathon where he ran really good. He ran 209. And then after that, he ran and won the Malaga Marathon in Spain last year, late last year, and ran 208, which is his personal best, winning the Malaga Marathon. So I do think he should be able to run around 206 in the marathon very soon, especially knowing him so well. He has the talent for that and maybe even faster, hopefully even faster. But I do think in the near future, he has a 206 on him. He's also a really good pacer. So he started pacing me and it went really well and this videos got a lot of traction. A lot of people saw what he was capable of doing it. And then races around the world started calling him to be pacer. So a pacer, the job of a pacer is to take a group of elite runners at a specific pace for a specific distance. So usually 30 to 35 kilometers running around 208, 206 pace. He just runs there. 30k stops and then the athletes keep going and he gets paid to do that so it's a pretty cool job because you get to travel the world you get paid you get to run really fast and then you get to know a lot of people a lot of cool athletes he was also part of the sub 7 i think it's called the triathlon uh 70.3 world record and i'm sorry if i'm saying this wrong uh, you can know i'm not a triathlete and i don't know much about triathlon but he was the pacer of Blumenfeld to run, I think they ran around 2.30 at the end, it's not a 70.3, it's a full Ironman, because they ran a full marathon at the end, and they ran 2.30 at the end of his triathlon, this athlete, that's another story, another amazing athlete, but Rainbow was able to pace him throughout the race to a 2.30. So, those races, like I said, it's a no snowball effect where you pace here, you pace there, then people start to know you, then they want you in the races. So much that he became the pacer for the Chicago Marathon. And being a pacer for the Chicago Marathon, that's a big deal. I mean, that's one of the most important marathons in the world. And he literally got his visa in like two days. A visa that is so hard to get, he got it like that. And that's impressive, that means how talented he is that they need him so quick and they give him the visa so fast so he can go to the US. So he paced the marathon. I wanna say he paced through the half 
in 62 minutes and then kept going all the way to the 30k mark I think maybe a little bit longer and he did an amazing job it was like perfect pacing such a good runner 62 minutes through the half and then going to the 30k imagine how fast that's I want to say it's like 257 per kilometer pace something like that so really really fast really really good so after that first season call it like that when I met Rainbow I keep going to Kenya right and I tell Rainbow hey I want to do camps in Kenya I want to bring people to get to know your country and your people and he's like I love the idea count with me for everything that you, you want so he became my manager in Kenya and the person that hooks me up with other pacers with the cars with anything that we need for the camps Rainbow is the man to do it and he loves doing it and he loves people and the cool thing about it or one of the cool things about it is that these people that he meets in my camps are people that live in Europe or in the US that eventually when he goes to these races they help him out they give him company you know it's like a friendship that you develop with those athletes and then when he goes to Paris or whatever marathon he has three people there that can help him that can that he can stay with them or whatever he needs so it's a pretty cool connection to have and Rainbow is like the perfect guy for that because he loves people and he loves talking to people so after that time we like became really good friends but now we work together and he joined the ASICS group uh, in Kenya so he got sponsored by ASICS after the first time we met he joined the group we coach Peter which is an amazing coach I've had the pleasure to meet him and talk to him and train with them a couple times when I'm in Kenya so this group in Kenya they train together as an ASICS based group and they go to ASICS races or they get you know ASICS takes them to the races around the world so it's a pretty good thing to have because you know the exposure you get and then they train together and they train really good they live together eat together train together so now rainbow cannot be one of my pacers anymore because he became this really fast athlete and you know he has a job to do but the friendship is the same and i'm so excited to see him running so fast and every time that he's racing i'm looking at the splits and his results and i know it's the same of him for me so really good connection that we have and i'm very excited to see him running really fast in the near future and like i said if he runs 206 i said it here first um, comment comment and say Luis he did run 206 because I think he can do it or maybe faster but yeah that's Rainbow Barnaba Kid Coach go follow him on Instagram and yeah you'll see him in more YouTube videos because he's a beast and I want to keep training with him and I want to keep creating content with him so I'm sure you'll see him and if you haven't and you don't know who I'm talking about remember to go see to season one YouTube marathon training in Kenya with Luis Horta but thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and anything that you need just let me know.